HDMI 105 daily steam penetration test on a benchtop steriliser using SteriPak Boedic packs. HDMI 105 requires a steam penetration test to be carried out daily on vacuum sterilisers. The purpose of the test is to ensure that the steriliser is able to create a sufficient vacuum to remove the required amount of air from the chamber. If air is left inside the chamber during sterilisation, this will create pockets and prevent steam from penetrating the entire load. Take a Bowie Dick Pack. The test should be performed with only the furniture and the Bowie Dick Pack present. No instruments should be processed in the chamber at the same time. If you also perform a daily automatic control test, you may want to save time by performing both these tests together. Once the Bowie Dick Pack is in place, close the door and start the cycle. The Bowie Dick Pack is made up of layers of porous sheets with a sensor sheet in the middle. The machine must be able to remove all the air from the porous sheets and then push steam back into contact with the sensor sheet and change the colour of the ink. Carefully remove the Boedic pack, remember that it will be hot. Unwrap the pack and remove the sensor sheet. In this example, the ink on the sheet has uniformly changed from blue to black. This proves that the cycler removed all the air from the pack and pushed steam back into contact with the test sheet. In this instance, the cycle has passed. In this example, the ink on the sheet still shows traces of blue. This is because there was still air in the pack when the steam was pushed into the chamber. The air in the pack prevented steam from contacting the area of the sheet that remains blue. In this instance, the cycle has failed. There are several reasons why a failure may occur. Sterilizers will require a specific Boydic pack to be used, and you may be using the wrong one. The machine may also require a warm-up cycle prior to performing the test. The problem may lie with the machine itself, and a fault with the vacuum aspect of the cycle. If the test does fail, you can contact Isofarm Sentry for further advice on how to proceed. After the test, remember to complete the test record in your machine logbook. You should also attach the test sheet in the logbook as further evidence of test results.